I'm Vince Holton of Inside the TV. Today we're looking at automotive Bluetooth solutions. Now, it's increasingly common that cars are having Bluetooth built into them. Both this Jaguar and this Renault Clio have factory installed Bluetooth systems. This is a relatively high-end expensive car, this is a relatively low-end inexpensive car. And let's face it, the systems in these cars are great. Not only are the drivers able to manage their phone calls, but they can also stream their music, which is extremely convenient when what people want these days. However, factory installed Bluetooth isn't necessarily the complete solution for everybody. Not everybody buys new cars. This car is about £50,000, this is about £12,000. Most of us drive second-hand cars, so what are the options? Well, we're really looking at aftermarket Bluetooth solutions here, and there's plenty of choice, and they're just getting better and better. This is a good example. These aftermarket solutions typically require no installation, which is great for the user. They also typically have the latest state-of-the-art Bluetooth silicon, which means that they have all of the features such as music streaming, noise cancelling, error correction. There is, of course, another important factor, and that's cost. While Bluetooth install factory install systems are coming down in cost, they're still quite expensive. A BMW 3 Series will ask you £550 to add Bluetooth. Other cars are around the £200 mark. If you're forced to buy Bluetooth as part of an infotainment system, it could still run into thousands. Aftermarket Bluetooth systems cost tens or at most hundreds of pounds, and therefore this is a much better deal for most people. Now this is a favourite. I've used my Jabra Cruiser speakerphone on the sun visors of a bunch of different cars and in my home too. Like a lot of the latest devices, it uses dual mic technology, which means you get better call quality and a lot less background noise. It even talks to you, so it'll tell you how to pair it with other devices. While the built-in FM transmitter means that you take your calls and play the music from your phone or music player through your car's music system or your home stereo. It's a really handy product. Looking at headsets, Jabra's Stone breaks the mould with a really different design. It looks great, it's very ergonomic and it's really comfortable to wear. But it's not just about the sexy looks. The Stone features Jabra's Noise Blackout Extreme, the twin mic noise cancelling system that removes background noise and keeps the call quality crystal clear. And here's a real innovation. It comes with its own portable charging system. Plug the headset back into the dock or Stone and it'll recharge the headset for much longer talk time than conventional headsets. Now, the Jabra Extreme may be a conventional form factor, but it's packed with all of the latest tech, such as the dual mic noise blackout extreme noise cancelling, crystal clear sound for great call quality, you can pair it with more than one phone at the same time, and it'll play music. Feature packed, eh? And then another great thing about aftermarket Bluetooth systems is that they can go anywhere. You may be driving a brand new car, or a 50-year-old classic like this one. Your state-of-the-art Bluetooth can go with you. There's one more option too. Now this is my beat-up old off-roading Land Rover. Even this has state-of-the-art Bluetooth. I replaced a factory-installed head unit with a Bluetooth-enabled head unit. A great option for many people. So if you take all of the factors into consideration, that's lower cost, more choice, the very latest state-of-the-art Bluetooth technology, music as well as phone calls these days, and crucially, the ability to take your Bluetooth wherever you want to go, whether it's in your car, your friend's car, or even in your home. The argument for aftermarket Bluetooth systems is pretty compelling.